These are the moments that had audiences everywhere saying yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Come on, you could have any blue-blooded guy here. I'm... You're wonderful. And Jewish. So? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 TV marriage proposal scenes. Made our clinical trial a success by surviving. You talked me into putting her under. That's what I knew I needed to do. For this list, we're taking a look at the most memorable and engaging proposals from both television dramas and comedies. For this clip, a spoiler alert is definitely called for. Number 10, Leonard and Penny, The Big Bang Theory. I finally realized I don't need to be famous or have some big career to be happy. Then what do you need? You, you stupid Pop-Tart! Although Howard's proposal to Bernadette got us all excited, Leonard and Penny's engagement had been a long time coming. And I guess I'm in. <laughs> really? You guess you're in? <laughs> Leading up to this anticipated moment, both of these characters actually proposed to each other on separate occasions. First, Leonard asked Penny to marry him, but his timing was a tad off. People say weird things during sex all the time. Okay, well they sure as hell don't say that. Well, it's the heat of the moment. No, the heat of the moment is, oh yeah, just like that. Not, will you marry me? <laughs> Later down the line, a drunken Penny caught Leonard off guard by getting down on one knee. Finally, the on-again, off-again couple came to a mutual agreement to wed. Are, are we engaged? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Although this proposal may seem anticlimactic at first, Leonard makes the occasion infinitely more momentous by revealing a ring he's been carrying around for years. Penny, will you marry me? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. Charlotte and Harry, Sex in the City. Out of all the synagogues and all the cities, you had a walk into mine. It's not surprising that Charlotte's marriage to Trey didn't last, especially considering Trey's response to the proposal was just already. Maybe we should get married. Alrighty. Of course, if it hadn't been for that failed relationship, Charlotte never would have met her divorce lawyer, Harry Goldenblatt, and found true love. I think I may be falling in love with you. I've been falling for you since the moment we met. Although their courtship was rocky at times, the two finally sorted out their differences in this heartfelt scene. Professing her love, Charlotte realizes that she wants to be with Harry, even if they never marry. I don't care if you ever marry me. I just want to be with you. I would be lucky to have you. Seeing things clearly now, Harry decides to give Charlotte the storybook proposal she's always dreamed of. Charlotte York. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll marry you. Oh. Needless to say, it's the highlight of Singles Night. I am so coming back next week. Uh huh. Number eight, Mary and Matthew, Downton Abbey. Would you stay? If I asked you to. Downton Abbey has never been afraid to be romantic, and this proposal is possibly the single loveliest moment in the entire series. You've lived your life, and I've lived mine. And now it's time we live them together. Although Mary and Matthew belong together, they find themselves engaged to different people in season two. After a long string of tragedy and heartbreak, the two at last confront their feelings for each other. We've been on the edge of this so many times, Matthew. Please don't take me there again unless you're sure. I am sure. If they're to become engaged, however, Mary insists that Matthew do it properly. And so, with the snowy landscape adding another level of atmosphere, Matthew gets down on one knee and closes out this Christmas special on a magical note. Lady Mary Crawley, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Yes. Number seven, Matt and Julie, Friday Night Lights. I've been to do that ever since you showed up. The honest relationship shared between Julie Taylor and Matt Saracen is a prime example of why Friday Night Lights was a show about much more than football. In the Pitch Perfect series finale, Matt returns home to ask Julia a game-changing question. On one hand, there's nothing grand or extravagant about this proposal. If anything, it's kind of straightforward. I know how much I love you, and I know that I want to be with you forever. So, 
the grandmas. That being said, as we watch the nervous Matt present his grandmother's ring to the emotional Julie, it's impossible not to cheer like a fan in a stadium. Julie accepts the proposal without a second thought. Yes. Yeah. While her dad requires a little more convincing. Well, I've already got two promotions. The answer to your question is no. And the answer to your question is going to be no today. It's going to be no tomorrow. And it'll probably be no until the sun burns out. Is that clear? Number six, Corey and Topanga, Boy Meets World. Mr. Feeney said I should go to Yale unless I have a really good reason not to. Well, there isn't any good reason. Actually, there is. If you grew up in the 90s, there's zero doubt that Corey Matthews and Topanga Lawrence were your one true pairing. These two kids reached a milestone at the end of season five as they graduated from high school. Corey, I know what I want to do with my life. Shh, I'm speaking in public. This will never happen again in our lives. Of course, their graduation was an afterthought compared to Topanga's proposal to Corey during the ceremony. Corey. What? Ladies and gentlemen, the John Adams High School class of 1998. Will you marry me? Audiences had to wait months to hear Corey's answer and then another week for Topanga's answer. It was an emotional roller coaster for viewers to say the least. But Corey and Topanga eventually came to a decision together that touched all of our hearts. That's what we decided. We're gonna get married when we're ready. And when we're ready, you'll be the first to know. Number five, Niles and Daphne, Frasier. You know, it's funny. Mm -hmm. You could take a million years to plan the perfect evening and you would, uh, you'd never come up with this. Mm -hmm. Being a psychiatrist, Niles naturally puts a bit too much thought into his proposal to Daphne, writing a lengthy speech, enlisting a string quartet, and even hiring chef Wolfgang Puck to prepare a fancy dinner. Niles maps out the proposal of the century. Everything all right in here? With the food, no problem. <laughs> Everything's under control, Niles. We're, we're all set. You, you just relax, okay, okay? okay? Plans go awry, though, when Daphne shows up with the flu. This leads to some great farcical comedy as Frasier helps Niles get everyone else out of the apartment. Do you want to borrow my pajamas? No, I feel silly in those. They're so big and baggy. I'm the only one here that's going to see you. <laughs> the humor is balanced out with romance as Niles finds that now's the perfect moment to ask the woman he loves the big question. Will you marry me? Oh, Niles! Of course <laughs> I will! Number four. Leslie and Ben, Parks and Recreation. Actually, is there a way I could put down like a... Hey! Hey. I didn't know you were coming back here. Oh. What are you doing? Faced with a huge career opportunity, Ben is forced to think about his future, which would be incomplete without Leslie. Thus, he decides to secure his life with her by proposing in their dream home. I am deeply, ridiculously in love with you. However, before Ben can even finish asking the big question, Leslie hits the pause button to savor the moment. So, Leslie, nope. Wait, you? wait. Okay? okay? Just, I need to remember this. Sure. Give me a second. Okay. Then when Ben tries to ask again, Leslie gives him a premature response. Leslie, nope. Will you? Yes! <laughs> Just to make it official, though, Ben gets the last two words of his question out in the middle of a kiss. Marry me? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> It's a proposal that's as funny as it is touching, demonstrating why Leslie and Ben are television's most adorkable couple. Number three, Derek and Meredith, Grey's Anatomy. Hey, come on in. Dr. Meredith Grey and Dr. Derek Shepard are the classic will-they-won't-they -they couple for the ages. After almost five seasons, Grey's Anatomy didn't disappoint with this long overdue proposal. As Meredith enters an elevator, Derek takes her on a trip down memory lane via CT scans. That was the first surgery we ever scrubbed in together on. Our first save. Right here is a cerebral cyst. Tough save, but we did it. I kissed you in the stairwell after the surgery. Although he shows Meredith a series of brain x-rays, Derek definitely thinks with his heart in this moment. He doesn't get down on one knee or even pop the big question. Yet despite this unconventional proposal, Derek makes his feelings for Meredith more than abundantly clear. I'm not gonna get down on one knee. I'm not gonna ask a question. I love you, Meredith Gray. And I wanna spend the rest of my life with you.
Now you see why they call him McDreamy. I get it now. The whole, you know, McDreamy thing. I didn't, I didn't get it before, but now I get it. Number two, Michael and Holly, The Office. Let's go in here. While seeing Jim and Pam finally get engaged was heartwarming, it was Michael's proposal to Holly that really took us by surprise. Will you marry me? No. Easy, no? Will you marry me? No. That would be hot. I would pay to see that. Considering how Michael can sometimes be an inept, selfish, and even unlikable person, you wouldn't think he could ever be genuinely romantic. However, with help from the entire office, Michael pulls off a beautiful proposal with candles galore and a few warm words. This is where I fell in love with you. And this is where I ask you to marry me. When the sprinkler system goes, Michael cuts to the chase in a Yoda voice, which Holly accepts, also speaking in a Yoda voice. Holly Flack, marrying me will you be? Your life be coming, me will I? <laughs> Everyone is ecstatic for the couple, although Michael's announcement that they're moving to Colorado leaves his employees stunned. Holly has to go back to Colorado. I'm going with her. I'm leaving. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Turk, I'm, I'm gonna miss my flight. I gotta go, honey. I'm sorry. Will you marry me? What did you say? I think I said, will you marry me? Turk, wow. I got a ring. Summer Roberts, will you marry me? Yes. I'll marry you. Robin Scherbatsky, will you marry me? Yes. I don't know a lot, but I know that I love you, and I want to be with you forever. So, okay. Emma Pillsbury, <laughs> will you do me the honor? Becoming my wife. I love you so much. Is that a yes? Yes. Number one, Monica and Chandler, friends. We wanted it to be a surprise. Following an ill conceived proposal one season earlier, Chandler prepares to ask Monica to marry him for the right reason. I'm doing this because I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you, um, you really think the best reason to get married is because you're sorry? Well, no, the best reason to get married is pregnancy. <laughs> After Richard's untimely return, it appears Chandler has lost Monica forever. However, in a tender twist, Monica surprises Chandler with a proposal of her own. Chandler, in all my life, I never thought I would be so lucky. <laughs> it's true. Fall in love with my best. Too emotional to get through it, Chandler completes the proposal in one of the most moving and iconic Friends moments ever. You make me happier than I ever thought I could be. <laughs> and if you let me, I will spend the rest of my life trying to make you feel the same way. <laughs> Everyone else then shows up to celebrate. Well, except for Ross. But he knows a thing or two about getting engaged anyway. Oh no, wait! No! Ross isn't here. Oh. oh, hell, he's done this three times. He knows what it's about. Yeah, yeah. Watching Monica and Chandler dance the night away over the credits is the cherry on top of TV's finest proposal. Oh, my darling, you Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite TV marriage proposal? Just For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. You know, I always dreamed this would happen. No! Wait! They're not a couple! Oh, jeez.